Oh, sorry, I didn't hear you come in. I was just reading the classic Chinese tale, Journey to the West. What's that? You say you've never heard it before. Why, it's one of the most beloved and well-known stories in all of Asia. I've got an idea. How about I read it for you? Chapter 1 Long ago, on the mountain of flowers and fruit, there was a magic stone egg. And then, one day, a monkey hatched from it. When he opened his eyes, golden light shot out to the farthest reaches of heaven. It was even observed by the Jade Emperor, the god who watches over heaven and earth. But the heavenly light gradually died as the monkey ate and drank. The magic monkey spent his days playing and eating with his friends. Then one day, they discovered a magnificent mountain and waterfall. They decided whoever was brave enough to jump through the waterfall would be their king. And the magic monkey was indeed brave. On the other side of the waterfall, he discovered a cave, a perfect place for all the monkeys to live. With their new king, of course. They spent every day feasting and playing. But something wasn't right. The handsome monkey king knew that even though it was all fun and games now, sooner or later, they would all grow old and die. Only three types of beings could escape life, death, and rebirth, the wheel of reincarnation. Buddhas, immortals, and sages. And so the handsome monkey king decided to leave his kingdom behind and look for one of these immortals so he could learn the Tao, become enlightened, and be as eternal as heaven. The magnificent Monkey King crossed the ocean and encountered humans for the first time. He disguised himself to look like them. But no matter where he went, no one knew where to find an immortal. They were more interested in fame and fortune, not the Monkey King. For 10 years he looked. Then he came to a beautiful mountain even grander than the one back home on the mountain of flowers and fruit. On the mountain, Monkey discovered a temple, and there, in the center, lecturing his students, was the immortal he was looking for. Monkey greeted the great immortal, who agreed to teach him the way. But first, Monkey needed a new name. Sun, which means monkey. Wu, for enlightened. Kong, for emptiness. And thus the handsome Monkey King became Sun Wukong, Monkey Enlightened to Emptiness, bringing him one step closer to becoming the great sage equaling heaven that would one day throw the heavens into chaos. So that was the first chapter to Journey to the West. If you want to know what happens next, click the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching this special episode of China Uncensored. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time.